all the wall printers can print in. So even they can do the same job, but the, the final uh, result is different. The platform is very special, so we made of one solid aluminum plant. It's so heavy, so that bring our printers so stable when it's printing. So I think we are the first group in China who created the first wall printer. Uh, back to 2011, mm -hmm. the founder of Dixon Jet, Adam, created the first wall printer. Dixon Jet is a new brand founded by Adam and uh, me, Alex, in earlier 2022. The initial purpose of of the Dixon Jet brand is to provide high quality wall and floor printer on the market overseas since 20, 2019 and by 2022 we have already about uh, 500 customers so we received lots of feedbacks from our customers so we knew we always knew that the market the clients need a very good quality wall printer so we have rich, experienced engineer and we have lots of valuable feedbacks from, from our 500 customers. So we have the idea to create a better, much better wall printer in 2021. So our technical team, engineering team, starting creating a new wall printer in 2021 mm -hmm. and uh, after 18 months around 18 months so we made it okay so in 2022 we created the the Dixon Jet brand mm -hmm. named by Adam and Alex so Dixon Jet yes Adam sits here you can show me <laughs> he's the big he's the big brain here yes 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 yes, yes. Okay. And 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 you you, you can see that uh, there's lots of very good functions on on our Dixon Jet wall printer, right? So because all these functions are, are from the real feedbacks from our customers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, like like uh, for example, the the highest point limitation. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's very uh, good because we have customers who who made a mistake and the print had. Go over, yeah, yeah. go over the vertical rails and um, fall down to the to the floor and crash the yeah, yeah. the the whole print head. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, we have the uh, uh, the print head protection uh, uh, program. So if if the power is, is failure is, is cut off, so the print head will go down slowly, slowly, slowly to the bottom. So we we also have a customer who. Who 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 in, uh, encountered this issue that the power is off and of the, the print head just crash to the bottom and damaged. So you know the print head is so expensive that the value is over. It's already over half of the printer's price. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's really really important. Mm -hmm. You can see that there are lots of wall printers on the market. Uh, so they look so similar and uh, it's not hard for us to design a wall printer because there are lots of them on the market and uh, it's easy to to make one but the big challenge is to make a, make the best one mm -hmm. make the best one we we knew the the printers or wall printers on the market is is not uh, good enough we, we knew their issues all right so we want to improve it. So big challenges we want we need to improve all of them, all of these issues, uh, solve all of these issues. The shaking, the printing quality is not good. It's, yeah, so, and uh, and the protect uh, the printing head from falling down. So all of these issues we we need to solve all these problems and um, make a best wall printer. Okay, in one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in, in that uh, Dixon Data Warp in WPJ4. So uh, that's the mix of challenge. And it takes lots of our time. 
mm-hmm. lots of time to improve the printing quality, to improve the stability, reliability. So we tested a lot. So actually, before we launched this WeWeChat 4, we, we test at least six months. Every day we print, so we print at least eight hours. We are not working long. We work with the, um, the other engineers like the, 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 the RIP software engineers, like the system, the system, controlling system uh, yeah. uh, engineers, yeah. improve all the functions, all the stability, and uh, to test the, the program to make it uh, stable. So this mm-hmm. stable, reliable, and durable, we think is the main, main target. So, just like I said, so we we set the target to to develop a wall printer that is more stable, more reliable, and more uh, durable, mm-hmm. which means you can use it for uh, for longer time, more stable. Of course, with with, with high quality, medium quality. If we if we look into the details of our printer, you can see uh, lots of different. So if we if we compare with the other printers, like from the from the platform, the platform is very special. So we made of one solid aluminum aluminum metal, and uh, if you if you weigh it, you you are amazed that that is oh, it's around thirty kilogram. Thirty kilogram. So it's so heavy. So that that bring our printer so stable when it is printing. So the platform is so important. Just like the car, we sit uh, we we sit in. So a good platform, and will bring the printer um, a lot more stability. Okay. So we are using the best materials for the printer. So when customer have our printer, they touch it and they feel it they will know the, the print is different. And when they're using it, they will find it is really good. So all the wall printers can print in. So even they can do the same job, but the, the final, the final uh, result is different. Yeah, the processing is different. Okay, yeah, the pause is so important uh, if we want to um, if we will have the uh, the best quality of, of prints. So at the first beginning, we we'll know we started mean the uh, the price of the uh, of the of the parts uh, means good quality. So we need to we need to know uh, the key point that is uh, we should find the proper uh, the parts. So we bought a lot of parts. Okay, for example, for for the damper. We bought a lot of damper. Well, at least we bought uh, eight or ten kinds of damper to test, mm-hmm. to test. Okay, and uh, for the ink tubes, for the ink tanks, and for the sensors, for all the parts, at least we bought uh, more than three or four. Mm-hmm. Okay, to test, and we choose the best one. So we are the, we are the manufacturer. Mm-hmm. So most of our employees, our team is um, uh, is to manufacture the 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 wall printer. So the workers in China, we offer them very good uh, paid. I think, okay, they will get uh, a commission for each printer we sent. Uh-huh. Who treat them well, we want them uh, work at our factory and happily. All right, they get all, they have all the holidays and uh, they're well paid and we offer them free uh, lunch and we want them to share more time with your family because they never overworked. Good question. So we, so let me talk about why we named um, the Dixon Jet printer WPJ4. I think the printer WPJ4 is the first generation wall printer. So I can see that 
in the future, we need a WebJet 5, the fifth generation, that is more industrial, more durable, and more portable. I can tell you more about uh, the war printer history. So maybe you can understand. The first war printer, I think, is created by the Japanese uh, around uh, 2005. Okay, there's a company called LAC in, in Japan. They created the vertical printer. Yeah. At that time, there's no one call it wall printer because the vertical printer they are using to print on the wall, on 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 the truck, right? And on any vertically material. And we call that the the, the first version, okay, wall printer. And uh, after a few years, some Chinese created uh, the wall printer in China. So we, Adam. Actually, our team, okay, was that first group who created the, the next generation, second generation wall printer in China. At that time, they are using the bubble print head, so it's not uh, major, it's not uh, stable at all, mm -hmm. okay. So after a few years, I think around 2013, around 2013, okay, there was some company uh, used the Pythia Epson print head, so that would... Well, that uh, printer is more uh, uh, stable, so they can print a large uh, mural on the wall. And uh, we call it uh, the, the third generation, okay? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. that wall printer can, can uh, uh, print a large format mural on the wall. At that time, at that time, we sold a lot in China mm -hmm. every year. And every year, all the manufacturers in China, of opening in China, they can sell around 1,500 printers. They sold a lot. We also sold a lot at that time. In 2019, we sold one printer to the U.S. So the customers cannot print on the wall because in the U.S., they are, uh, on the wall has lots of varnish. So the, the water-based uh, ink cannot get absorbed into the, uh, uh, the wall. So customers are complaining complaining yeah it's a wall printer but, but cannot print on the wall mm -hmm. like, that's funny yeah. so we know uh, the the technology shouldn't be proved so we know there is a technology in inkjet and printing that is UV curing technology so in 2019 we developed the UV vertical wall printer I think that is the uh, fourth generation wall printer so using the UV light to cure the UV ink onto the uh, material. With the UV curing technology, you can print on any materials, or most any materials. So you can print on the wall, you can print on glass, acrylic, uh, canvas, brick, uh, metal, right? You can print on wall. Okay, I can see in the future, maybe next two years, we need the next generation, the fifth generation wall printer. Next generation wall printer should be more industrial. The better print head, the, the more portable and uh, uh, much advanced. Advice for the new uh, wall printer users? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good uh, question, I think, from for Adam, the yeah, engineer, yeah, yeah, yeah. but my suggestion is, you know, I sold a lot of printers. I think I sold around five or six hundred printers. My suggestion is, my suggestion is to practice more. more. Yeah. So, so practice more. So, at the first beginning, don't, don't intend to uh, make money. So practice more and uh, they will have more questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have more questions. And uh, the best point is you should, you should, you have to, you have to, the customer have to um, get really good support from their supplier. Mm -hmm. so if they have more questions and the supplier didn't uh, assist them, didn't assist them, they will be fail, 100%. Yeah. So from my experience, I sold 600 printers. Uh, so I can see that if they, if the customer don't get enough support, they will feel 100% feel. Yeah, my, my suggestion is to practice more and uh, get answered. The question should be get, uh, should answered from by their supplier. Mm -hmm. 
they should have the best technical support. You will know uh, what the wallprinter can do, and also you will know what the wallprinter cannot do. Yeah, um, that's really important. Yes. Okay. Actually, there are two moments. Okay. I, I, for me, the first moment you purchased the, the first wallprinter from me, uh, yeah. so quick, so quick, and uh, a young guy and the, purchased the first wallprinter. But uh, the the second moment is so. Uh, so hard to to forget that uh, you write um, uh, a message to me. You want to um, uh, cooperate with us, right? So I was thinking. I was thinking. And a young man want to work with us. So, so maybe maybe it's nothing. But but you are so dedicated. And uh, you we had another call. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I can I see you. You see me. We talked. Uh, a few minutes and uh, can see that you are dedicated and you are a hard-working guy. I, I, I do a little bit of research okay. on you, on your social media, your website. I see you are working hard. I see you are doing a great job. And uh, I, because of you, I received uh, more than 10 customers' inquiry. Okay, so every day. So my email was born. All of the customers are from Poland. I know. I always knew that's you. So, so the next day, after I think after a day, deep thinking, and uh, I made a choice. I, I want to work with you because I am that kind of guy. Okay, dedicated to to the wall printing and uh, work so hard. So, I can sell so many printers. I think you are also the guy who are hardworking, dedicated. And uh, you already proved it. So yeah, I made a, a decision. Let's work and move forward. So I can see that I made a great and a big and a successful decision. <laughs> yeah, welcome to China. <laughs> uh, we're celebrating. <laughs> I just want to say one more sentence. I think always want to say that is, uh, I want all the customers who purchased uh, our printer, happy wall printing. Happy war printing. I hope you'd like it. I hope you'd like war printing business. That's that's all we want to see. We buy our printer and happy with our printer. Happy doing war printing business. War printing shoe business. So thank you very much for for this trip, for for this uh, time in China, and thank you for this. Interview. You're always welcome. Yeah. You're thank always you. welcome. Thank you. Very much thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.